Now, one of the most difficult things to do when first starting out publishing low and no content books on Amazon KDP is where to begin. When it comes to creating your first book, it can seem daunting and scary to take that first step into the world of publishing. But don't worry because today I'm going to show you how to make your very first book complete with all the necessary information you need to be able to hit that publish button. But before that, hey guys, my name is Jeff and this channel is all about becoming self-sufficient when it comes to making money online. And right now we're talking about low and medium content publishing on Amazon KDP. So if this sounds interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right to it. Now, the first thing that we want to do is create our book cover. And Amazon KDP actually gives us this tool to be able to download a template to help create our covers. So all we have to do is fill out this information and they're going to give us exactly what we need. So the first thing is the binding type for our book. It's going to be a paperback interior type. This is going to be a black and white paper type. It's going to be regular white paper page turn direction left to right measurement units inches. And then our trim size is going to be our standard 8.5 by 11 with a 120 page count. And then once we're done, we go ahead and calculate dimensions. Now with this, we can go ahead and see that our full cover has to be 17.52 inches by 11.25. And this is what we're going to use to create our document on Canva. And what we can do is we can actually download this template and now it's downloaded. And so we can go ahead and take this template and upload it onto Canva. And this is what it's going to look like. Now that we're on Canva, we want to go ahead and click custom size. And right here, we want to hit inches. We want to go ahead and put the numbers that Amazon told us to put in. So 17.52 and 11.25, 17.52, and then go ahead and create the design. And this is what's going to be our front cover and then our back cover. And to show you that, I'm going to go ahead and grab this PNG file right here. This is the file that we downloaded from Amazon. This is all we need to know is this PNG. This is all we want. So if we drag in the template onto our project here, we can see that this is going to be where our front cover and back cover is. And if I just make that fit the page, we can see this is the front cover and then this is the back cover. This red area is where you want to stay away from. It is the bleed area. The black solid line is the trim. So this is where it can be cut. We have the folds right here. This is where we want to put our design. So once this is here, what I like to do is I like to change the transparency down so that I can still see it, but I can also do work on top of it. And then I like to lock it so that it doesn't move. So now that's there, we can go ahead and create our cover. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on elements and I want to put a spine that extends from this fold line. So I want to go ahead and stretch that out beyond the page and I want to just color it black for now and then position it in the center. And now that's done. I want to go ahead and put another color in the back here. And I want to color this, maybe we'll go with a yellow and I want to position it backwards so we can see our template and our spine. So now that we have this, I want to go ahead and put our title here. So I'll go ahead and use this one right here. I'll go ahead and extend this right there and just position it in a way where we can write a title and then we're going to get a text right here, put a heading, and then it's going to say college ruled notebook. So actually I want to break that up. So maybe something like this and then color this white or even like this. And then change the font to something that you like. Okay, so there's a font that I like, and then we're going to go ahead and center this. So maybe find a text box and maybe something like this right here. We can go ahead and shrink this. And then we can put maybe the dimensions so we can put 
eight and a half by 11 inches and then just put that inside here and maybe change the font to black and just make the font a little bit smaller maybe like that and then maybe position this somewhere here and then there we go we have a college ruled notebook eight and a half by 11 inches for this book we don't really need to put anything in the back of the cover we just want to make sure that this barcode that we see right here that we don't put anything on top of there because the barcode is going to be going right there so anything that you put there is going to be covered up by the barcode okay so if we want to add more design we can easily just go to elements and just find something so for example let's add triangles so let's say we want to use this triangle and we want to put it right here and go ahead and do that and then you want to position it behind this title so just hit backward here and there's that let's say we want to change the color black as well so there we have that and then let's say we want to add more triangles Maybe we want this one. We have that. And let's just say we want to kind of move this down here. And then let's say we want to make this a different color. So go ahead and put triangle and use one of these. And let's say we're happy with this design. So this is all good. Now we want to make the interior. Now, in order to make the interior, we want to go back to the home page of Canva and we want to make an interior that is eight and a half by 11. So we just go put that in our boxes here and then click create new design. Now, in order to create these lines, there's a few things that we have to remember. You want to have your rulers out. So this top ruler, the side ruler in order to do that you hit file view settings and you hit this where it says show rulers and guides and once you do that this ruler will show up now what we want to do is we want to mark where our lines will be so if you drag from the top bar and you just drag it down the screen you can see that there is a purple line and once you release it will stay where you want to stay and then you can reposition it wherever you want now for our first line, we want it to be about 1.5 inches. So if you can see the number on the side where it's changing right now, we want it cl as close to 1.5 as possible. So I have here 1.497, which I'm happy with. So that's going to be our first line. So now we've marked where we want our first line. What we want to do next is we want to start creating our lines. So in order to do that, we want to hit elements. And we want to go into here shapes you could easily just type in line right here it'll give you this option right here and you just want to click this one now once it's on the page what you want to do is you want to change the line style up here and change the line weight to one because four is too thick now that we've changed the line weight we can see that it's a little bit dark the color's a little bit dark so typically lined pages have a little bit of a lighter shade than black so we're going to go ahead and change that color and we're just going to go and choose this gray and then what we want to do is we want to extend this beyond the page and then once we have our line here we're actually not going to put it right where our mark is right now because we need to find our spacing and in order to find our spacing the easiest way is to just start at zero so if you just put the line at zero and then go ahead and duplicate it, you can duplicate it by clicking on the line and then you'll see this plus sign that'll duplicate it. You want it at 7.1 millimeters or 0.279 inches. And so in order to do that, you want to go ahead and make another line right here, another guideline. And you want to put it as close to 0 0.279 as possible. So as we can see here, we have a 0 0.286, which is kind of the closest that we can get. So I'll go ahead and uh, drop it right there. And then we want to put this line that we just made, the duplicated one, on top of that. 
Now that we have this, we can go ahead and copy this and duplicate it and then rearrange it where this first line is going to go on top of this last line that we have. So we go ahead and do that. And then we have three lines. I'm going to go ahead and take out this marker here and take out this extra line. Now we have three lines and we just want to duplicate this until we have 35 lines. Okay, now that we have the 35 lines, all we want to do is go ahead and highlight all of them. And if you want, you can go ahead and click position and tidy up. And then after that, you can go ahead and drag the entire thing, the entire selection, and put it on that marker that we put at 1.5 inches. So once we do that, it should look something like this. So go ahead and remove this line, this marker line. And then now it's starting to come together. Now all we need is that vertical line right here and we'll have a complete lined interior that is college ruled. So typically where this goes is about 1.5 and so go ahead and drag on the side all the way to 1.5 as close as you can like that. And then all we have to do is go ahead and grab another line. I'll just duplicate one and then I'll rotate it to 90 degrees and then line it up there and extend it beyond the page and then remove the guideline and then what I like to do here is I just want to color this a little bit darker than the rest and then there we go this is the college ruled lined interior and then all we have to do is duplicate this until we have 120 pages and it'll be a full interior. So when all is finished, it should look something like this. As you can see, there's 120 pages. And then I even created a belongs to page right here. Now I've gone ahead and made this interior as well as a list of keywords that I've personally analyzed. As you can see with the colored boxes, these are the niche scores. I've done this with every single keyword here. I've gone ahead and made both of these available on my Gumroad. You can go ahead and download these. You can get them for free or you can pay what you feel like it's worth. So if you're interested, the link to my Gumroad shop is down in the description below. Feel free to go grab yourself this interior as well as the keywords. With that being said, that's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and hopefully you're able to implement it into your KDP low and medium content publishing. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and let me know what kind of video you want me to do next. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.